South side stand up. North side stand up. West side stand up. These niggas already know what it is, man. DOA, death out. Fuck niggas, you understand me? New movement in effect, man. We finna start punching these fuck niggas in the face, man, on sight, man. BBE, that's the label. Bang, bang, that's the game, nigga. From Jacktown all the way to A-Town, J. Con on the track, man. We finna hit these niggas in the head with this one, bro, bro. I am Shawty Jizzle. Morning, this is Mom McLaurin. I'm Jackson, Mississippi. Southside, McDowell, to the road. You know, I am Mr. Gear, two of my 80s. Oh, my The Jizzle come from my middle name, Jamal. You know what I'm saying? And I like when, when Snoop and them came out with the shields on my nizzle type shit. You know what I'm saying? So my name was Shouty J at first, and I just put a little twist to it with the Jizzle. You know what I mean? What made me want to start rapping this shit? Well, this shit really started in high school. You know what I'm saying? Ninth grade. We used to go to go to the bathroom breaks or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So we in the bathroom and shit. These niggas rapping. Everybody rapping in the bathroom. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, man, I can't do that shit. So I go back home, you know what I'm saying? And I'm in the shower and shit. I'm just coming up with some shit that I can come back to school tomorrow and spit on these niggas, you know what I'm saying? And Shit, I, I wrote, I wrote me a little verse or whatever when I came back to school. Went to the bathroom. And, um, shit spit it for them niggas the next day. And they were like, damn, bro, that, that shit hot. And I was like, shit, that shit was easy. That was nothing. So I just stayed at it and it became a passion after just that. You know, so I always liked music. You know, so I love music, I always been a fan of it. Well, coming up, when I really got into music, music, you know what I'm saying? When I'm buying, actually buying CDs and shit. You know, around my era, we had Master P, No Limit, you know what I'm saying? Then when I got a little older, you know what I'm saying? It was like, Boosie was kind of around the same age, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, I can relate to the shit that he talking about. You know what I'm saying? So I listened to a lot of Boosie, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of Jeezy, a lot of Trap or Die Jeezy. When that came out, that Jeezy was an influence too. But starting off, P was the biggest influence of coming up though. I had all them Odyssey, man, the Batty Batty movie, motherfucking Batty Batty CD, the Ghetto Dope, The Last Done, Ice Cream Man, all them, all them shits, man. I was a fan, bro. I fuck with Bone too. But like Bone Thugs and Harmony coming up too. I fuck with them heavy and Twister. Yeah. I mean, like with my music, I take a lot of everybody that I'm a fan of. You know what I'm saying? Because I listen to a lot of different styles and a lot of different niggas, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, well damn. I I I, I like how he how you riding, riding the wave on these type songs or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I might take a little bit of this guy, a little bit of this dude, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know what I'm saying? Mix it all up on yeah. my verses, you know what I'm saying? Shit, this is what you get. It's the kids to know what the whole life. Don't I, don't I know what yeah. the whole life? She reaching on my teacher. Pussy hit the mouth and I let that pussy hey. got hey. the bleach. Matter of fact, I'm really deep in the swag. I'm talking about hair long the nail. Yeah, 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 yeah
You know what I'm saying? I have crafted my music, you know what I'm saying? That's shit crazy, man. I swear I hate these pussy niggas out talk. talk. Get a bitch, pussy niggas wanna cock block. Hey. block. Talking beef shit, oh, shit big boy stop. stop. You don't want to shout again, you got enough shot. See, I don't like these pussy niggas anyway. Yeah. Niggas say they hot, really trash anyway. Yeah. Claiming competition, bitch, you really in the way. Hit them with the chopper, I ain't lying. Yeah. Yeah. Competition. Yeah. I say 50 50. You know what I'm saying? Because you always wanna, you always wanna put your music out there so your fans uh, 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 feel like they, you know, a part of you. They, like they know you, you know what I'm saying? Like they know a little bit more about you. You know, so I try to I try to put my personal stuff out there, not too too much. You know what I'm saying? But I go into it sometimes. It 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 it'll, it'll fix my music shit a lot. You know what I'm saying? Then I try to speak on what's going on today. You know what I'm saying? The stuff that's going on that people can relate to. I don't want to go too far left field with it. You know what I'm saying? I just want to put quality music out that people can relate to. You know what I mean? Yeah, home is home. You know what I'm saying? That's where everybody I grew up with, my family, you know what I'm saying? If I come down there and do a show, they all coming. So it's nothing to walk in the spot 30 deep. Everybody got on Brit Boy and t-shirts, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I mean? There's nothing. Every every time I go home, it's, it's a movie, man. Every time. <laughs> I try to perform as often, but as of late, you know what I'm saying, when I go home, I be getting pulled this way, pulled this way, pulled this way, cause you know you gotta see your mom, you gotta see your dad, you gotta see your family, or whatever. So lately when I've been going home, it's just been to see family and just have the business, you know what I mean? Yeah, but the music market in Jackson, Mississippi is kinda, kinda small, you know what I'm saying? So, I didn't want to go too far from home. I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying, stay too close or whatever. So, my option was Texas, Louisiana, Memphis, and Georgia. You know what I'm saying? I had already been coming back and forth down here, you know what I'm saying, for a couple of years. So, I was intrigued by the city, you know what I'm saying? It's, I, I was fucking with it. I was like, see, this is a place that if I was to move, I would come to, you know what I mean? It's six hours from the house, you know what I mean? So, Georgia, I think Georgia was a good move, you know what I'm saying? And and I, I, I got a chance to bump hands and chop it up with a lot of different people, you know what I'm saying? And Walker, you know what I'm saying? And now Boosie, Webby, all the trio, all the trio and NT niggas, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's so common to run into them, you know what I'm saying? Back home, ain't nobody, ain't nobody coming down there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that's out there going to different places trying to get their music off, you know what I'm saying? So why not come to Black Hollywood, where I can just go to a club on a random man day, you know what I'm saying? And you go DJ Scream, you know what I'm saying? You know, but yeah. Atlanta, I fuck with the city. I'm forward to see it.